the decision to construct a museum and a shrine at the late Kutako's dwelling was taken during the second land conference two years ago. President Gengob says through the honoring of late Chief Kutako, Namibians are united under the banner of independence. At the same time, he says, Namibians are acknowledging the significance of the ideas and values which Chief Kutako stood for throughout his life. All of us, it didn't matter, no matter what tribe, respected him and was getting counsel from him. All of us. Chief Osea Kutako embodied an acute sense of solidarity, a unity of purpose through his work. Let us reflect on this aspect as we break the ground on which we will provide a fitting and permanent tribute to this Namibian icon. Mm -hmm. Not only are we honoring a luminary we contributed, who contributed immensely to our struggle for self-rule, but we are also conveying to the world the story of Namibia and the brave men and women whose blood, sweat, and tears propelled us along the journey to independence. The monuments will be constructed in two phases and will, upon completion, showcase the traditional way of life of the Ovaherero and Himba communities through the living museum, artifacts, and a statue of the late Chief Kutako on the shrine. When you come, when I'm coming to inaugurate this, and I will do it, don't worry, African, it will be during my term. I will do it even next year. Do at the end of next year, why not? Then I will make my speech. To tell you all what you do from that day on. To unite this country and pull in the same direction. Among the outstanding contributions of Chief Kutako was his numerous petitions to the UN during the 1950s and 60s, calling on the world body to end South African rule and to grant Namibia independence. This eventually led to the UN's recognition of Namibia as a sovereign country and the historic 1971 advisory opinion of the International Court of Justice that South Africa's continued administration of Namibia was illegal in terms of international law. I would like to implore you, Mr. President, to make sure through the permanent representative of Namibia to the United Nations to try and reprieve the copy of the original petition with the signatories and supportive documents from the various ethnic groups of our country so that they be repatriated to their place of origin and put inside the very archive that is being anticipated to become part of that house. On behalf of the family, Comrade President Dr. Hake Kainko and the Namibian government, we appreciate the effort and all the initiatives that we have made the commencement of the project now today with all these beautiful developments and structures as now we are alluded by the the architect, that even those that are not uh, uh, tech, 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 having, having a technical eye could understand what will be the development here. The Hosea Kutako Memorial Museum and the Homestead Shrine, a first of its kind in the Omaheke region, is also expected to boost tourism in the area of Tomasis and the entire region. Tomasi's village is situated some 195 kilometers east from Khobabes in the Aminus constituency. Blanche Corres, NBC News, Tomasi's village.